cup, start smoking a spliff. <coughs> start choking this shit. Eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch. But I don't trust a soul, so the toasters grip the clip fly and. I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? That's what I happen to do. This shit is verbal life skills. I ain't just rapping to you. Lead them. Bow, 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 bow. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all, man. Shamir Vada Fly, tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang, everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? It's a nice little Tuesday. Uh, not much going on, you know what I'm saying? The week is like that part of the week where it like lows, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be at Friday in no time, but shout out to everybody out there. Um, it's a couple things going on in the world. I've seen that the uh, trial of young Dolph's murderers has started and dudes got eight hundred dollars out of a hundred thousand to uh to basically crash out lose their life uh the jury's been pretty much proven that uh you know big joke Gotti's brother basically put the money on Dolph's head and then them young crash outs went and handled the mission <laughs> up on the tables or what oh yeah 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 oh. I ain't gonna lie I'm getting cooked <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> now Big Jook is dead, and uh, the people that did it are in jail. So, you know, crash out for a crash out. It is what it is. But 800? Like, you ain't, y'all niggas ain't get a, you ain't get a deposit? That can't be the deposit. You know what I'm saying? Where was the back end? And I heard that uh, they were saying that they was trying to call him for the money afterwards, and Jook was saying that he, he was with the family or with the kids, and giving them the run around, bro. Y'all niggas crashed out. Uh, justice for Young Dog, because he didn't deserve to go out like that. The jury is basically showing the videos and everything. I seen that uh, Brett Favre has just said that he's got Parkinson's. I mean, I guess, whatever. Shake, nigga, shake. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Uh, he took all that money from them homeless people in one of the poorest cities and states in America, in Mississippi. He took all that money from them and never really had any recourse and, and didn't go to jail for it. So, I mean, you know, what, the, what do you want me to say about that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, karma does not have an expiration date and it doesn't miss an address. So in this situation, and then it's funny how this comes out right after he sued Tan and Sharp and lost his suit for defamation. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, karma, karma, um, karma. It is what it is. Um, Hitman Holla. Shout out to Hitman Holla and everything that he's got going on. Bags and bodies. You know, he's putting on the Power Moves card. He just announced another battle, A. Ward versus Av. Really interesting battle. I'll talk about that in a second and uh, what he's got going on as far as the card and uh, how it's starting to roll out. It's looking pretty dope. I'm not even going to hold you. But um, Hitman said something interesting yesterday. He said, Gotti face-offs, he'd be real chill. If he come any other way, I'm going to feel like he trying and I'm going to snap on him to his dumb ass. Something terrible. Save this tweet. Save up. She don't want to say, don't save up. Don't save up. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? He said, save this tweet. So I'll save it. That's what, you, that's what he said. He said that if he come any other type of way, I'm going to snap on him something terrible, save this tweet. So, you know, Gotti being one that's not going to um, take time to respond, he says, nigga, you got me mistaken. I don't do for the internet tough guy shit. I thought you didn't either, so we're going to leave it here. We got a face-off. We'll see each other. You know what I'm saying? Saying see each other soon. So, Gotti and him is going back and forth. Gotti also tells him, snap if you want. I'm going to put you in your motherfucking place immediately. All that rap and chill should be gone out the window. You ever think about playing tough, nigga? Scared the box bird, but think you going to snap on me. Clown. You know what I'm saying? And then our hitman says, man, shut the F up. You ain't going to do ish, but crack your little jokes and play it cool until the battle just like you always do. Bring him to the face off with you and watch me smack him in front of you and ask you, is you going to help him or not? Goofy. Ah. That's a lot. That's a lot of information. You know what I'm saying? It's basically so what I'm getting from this, you know, Hitman. And a shout out, first of all, shout out to everybody that asked me, you know what I'm saying, about my foot. You know what I'm saying? It's coming along. You know what I mean? It's, it, it takes its time. Foot injuries is different because you got to walk on it. You got to stand on it. You know what I'm saying? So it takes a little time. But everything's doing good. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm in front of y'all talking my shit. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, Basically, hey man was putting out a disclaimer. It says that Geechee got it. If he gets extra in the face offs, he's going to snap on him something terrible. Woo -doo -doo -woo -doo -woo. Geechee comes back. Says, I'm going to put you in your place. 
respectfully, but uh, between the two of them, you know, I could see them continuing to have just a battle. You know, I th I don't think, like for me, I feel like when it comes to battles, Geechee Gotti's energy usually is directed towards the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like he battles easy, he focuses his energy towards his third round, or whenever he's got like friction, it usually only plays out in the battle. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I never seen Geechee Gotti really get extra to the point where you felt like something could potentially happen. Now there are battle rappers out there that once they get to talking like that. Motherfuckers gotta get some extra security. They gotta see what it really be because it could go left in a heartbeat. But I don't look at this nothing more but banter for a promotional, you know what I'm saying? They gotta sell the fight. That's the one thing because uh, I was watching ARP's blog earlier. He dropped a blog talking about, you know, battle rappers and having ownership and things like that. And it comes off the heels of Murder Mook's interview, you know what I'm saying, where he was basically saying that he didn't want to battle on Hitman's League and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what, Ver, what, hit, what Mook had to understand, and I've seen some blogs about it, Chris Mbias did one too, saying Mook stopped the cap, you could peep his interview, which basically is gonna detail what everybody else is basically gonna say. Mook, you was willing to, <laughs> you was willing, if Hitman had the money, or was gonna give you the situation that you wanted, with the, with the copyright and half the battle, you would've did it. I see you shining, nigga. I can smell a motherfucker with money. <laughs> Even Ray Charles can see you got money. So to say that you don't want to battle on somebody else's league and woo woo woo, man, I hear it, but you know, battle rap continues to move on. And then for Murder Mook to say these things, he don't own nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a platform where this could happen. And I know I get it. Like I said, I've always respected Mook for what he's done for battle rap, the things that he's been able to, you know, uh, or the doors that he's been able to open and help commercialize battle rap to where people notice and recognize and love battle rap culture, like anywhere that a lot of people go. Like when you're really involved in the battle rap culture, you got to think of it like this. And, and ARP was talking about this too, so this is kind of like speaking about his blog, and then I'll speak about A Ward versus uh, Av towards you know a little, a little second. He was basically saying that getting pictures taken of you, uh, people following you on social media, and all this other shit, that stuff is cool. But if it's, it's not a tangible thing, like if you're in battle rap long enough, you're gonna people are gonna follow you, you know what I'm saying, and, and shit like that. I mean. Even myself, like bloggers, like I could get 50,000 followers on Twitter, 20,000 followers on this, just because we're entrenched in the culture. But that does not mean that that's a tangible thing, because when you die, you can't take no followers with you. You can't take, you know, so you gotta use what you have to try to build something. ARP is basically giving Hitman props and admiration for building the league, having a platform, and being able to have something that's tangible. Your YouTube channel, your battles, you know what I'm saying? And that comes off the heels of what ARP was saying about Shotgun Shug, wanting some, would love to have his battles online, or would love for his fans to see him, but they on the app, you know what I mean? And the app is the app. I, I, like, I'll get the app, keep it for a month or two, don't see nothing moving, I'll get rid of it, you know what I'm saying? And even me, I don't even have it, you know what I mean? Because what am I missing? Now, as far as uh, A-Ward and Av, that's another battle that's gonna be on this card, you know what I'm saying? And that is one of the bigger battles, because I'm not gonna lie, ever since A Ward been on his run that he's been doing, kind of like building his name, being in the top five, top 10 conversation every year, it's always been sprinkled out there, what happens if A Ward battles Av, you know what I'm saying? And then the thing about A Ward and Av is that A Ward is gonna promote, you know what I'm saying? A Ward promotes, his battles, he's gonna talk about them. I seen him, I seen his tweet before I even really got ready to even do this blog, and he said, what did he say? I duck zero smoke. That's what he said, he said that shit on Twitter. I duck zero smoke. They go, hey, all right, there. you see, y'all can see, you can see it from there, up. You can see it from right there, let's keep it fair. You know, A-Ward versus Ab, he said, I could, uh, he said, I ducks no smoke. You know what I'm saying, let's bring that up there, but you bam, that's on the big boy. You see A-Ward versus Ab, yeah, you see him, on, okay, yeah, that, now that's a big battle. Not gonna lie, for him, man, to get that battle on Power Moves to me, it's one of the better battles on the card. It's one of the better battles of the year. Like, A Ward has successfully developed himself into a top tier MC. I've had this argument about A Ward for years, and I can continue to have it with no problem. He's literally built himself all the way up to be a top tier MC that when you see his name on a card versus anybody, you won't blink your eye. I've said that. And I've said, when you see his name on a card versus damn near anybody, it's very hard to say that he's gonna lose. I did say that too. Just saying, these two things, and a lot of things can remain true, you know? Av 
as far as being an MC, to me is one of the best line for line guys that is in this industry. He is able to break down people with punches. Like he, like, and I know people like, oh, at, like if you watch him versus Hollow, master class, you know what I'm saying? And there's a couple of other battles that he's had in recent memory where he has went to work. Go watch him versus Pain if you wanna see him put in work. Like, like he can do it on all different leagues, all different aspects. And for me, you know, this battle literally is going to probably steal the night. You know what I'm saying? It probably will. Yeah, I mean, I get the star power on there. I see the big names on there. But if you're a fan of the actual battle rap and battle rap culture, you're going to be looking for Av versus Awar. That's, that's literally what you are. That's that game. You know how, like, we fans of football, right? There's certain games that come on TV that you're going to make sure you watch. You know what I'm saying? Now, Monday Night Football might not be always what you want to see. Shout out to Jaden Dance. He did his motherfucking thing last night. I definitely seen that. <laughs> Different, right? But if the Ravens and the Chiefs come on, you're going to watch the Ravens versus Chiefs on Monday Night Football. You know what I'm saying? Even Thursday night, the Giants and the Cowboys, neither are good, but you're going to watch it because it's a name and appeal. You're going to be tuned into that. Av is an MC that when he's on cards, you're going to probably, you know, lean towards looking at his battle because he's definitely going to be punching somebody's head off. Him versus Clone, one of the better battles of the year. And Av don't duck no smoke either, so that's why it's good to see Av versus A War. These are the type of battles that make shit hot. And when it comes to the leagues, you want to see leagues continuing to build and develop because Bags and Bodies being successful helps everybody because Bags and Bodies is going to be dropping battles on YouTube and more and more and more and more battles and content need to be on YouTube. I get it. You know, URL has their app. Cool. But like I said, battles need to be on YouTube. YouTube is the biggest app and it ain't going nowhere. Why? Because somebody could just click their camera on and just start talking and make a career. You know what I'm saying? No matter who it is. Leagues can come out of nowhere. Bam, bam, bam. But as far as a solid investment, I do like what... Uh, what Bags and Bodies has put together. So we will continue to see what goes on with that. You already know what it is. It's your man Vada Fly. I tell you my say hi. I will rap with Showtime SP about who I feel like I think will win this battle. But for the most part, you got Av versus A Ward announced. Bags and Bodies. This shit, <laughs> this card is eating up. So I mean, I mean, don't do what a hater do. Make sure that you cop this pay per view. I will be watching it, you know what I'm saying, and seeing all of the joints on there. But so far, this I wake up, start smoking a spliff, <coughs> start choking this shit, eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch, but I don't trust a soul, so the toasters grip the clip fly and, I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? that's what I happen to do, this shit is verbal life skills, I ain't just rapping to you, lead them 